15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And lift off. Go Falcon, go air set. Vehicle catching ground range. Stage one engine chambers, pressures are nominal. Moving through the clouds there, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40. Coming up next, we'll throttle down the nine Merlin engines on the first stage to prepare for max Q at about T plus one minute and 12 seconds. Power and telemetry nominal. Vehicles on the right track. Now, as you may already know, max Q is the period of flight with the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. So it's one of the critical flight milestones we're tracking. Again, we expect that here in just about Vehicle 10, supersonic. 10 seconds. And with that call out, we hear that Falcon 9 is moving faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. With that call out, we now have three events coming up in quick succession. So I'm going to talk through all of them right now. We'll start with Miko, followed by Stage Sep, and then SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine M1D engines shut down on the first stage to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the Impact next event, has started. which is stage separation, or stage sep for short. That's where the first stage separates from the second. Right after stage sep, the first stage will start its journey back to Earth for landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. During that time, stage two will continue on its journey to space with a third event in this sequence, sequence, second engine start one, or SES one. This is where the MVAC engine lights up and propels the second stage along with the Aerovsat payload to orbit. Right after these three major events, the fairing halves will separate less than a minute after SES one. So keep an eye out for that too. And again, all of these events are gonna start here in just about 10 seconds. And Miko. Stage separation. With that, we have confirmation of main engine cutoff, stage separation, and you can see there on the right hand side of your screen, second engine start one. While the first stage burn is in progress, we are expecting ferry to, while the first second stage burn is in progress, excuse me, we are expecting fairing deployment as well. Fairing separation. Oh, wow, great view of fairing separation there on the right hand side of your screen. It is now T plus three minutes and 40 seconds into today's mission. In order to complete today's landing, the first stage has two Acquisition burns. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. The first stage has two burns left. Right now, we're watching the MVAC burn on the second stage. Next up, the first stage will perform its entry burn, where three of the Merlin 1D engines will reignite. This helps to slow the Falcon 9 first stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. That entry burn should start just about two minutes and 15 seconds from now, and will last about 20 seconds. Just in case you are just joining us, we had a successful liftoff today at 12.30 a.m. Eastern time from Pad 40 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. We had successful liftoff, MECO, stage SEP, fairing separation, and ignition of our second stage engine, which you can see on your screen right now. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories and hearing from Mission Control that both vehicles are right on track.
The second stage burn is except, expected to last a few more minutes, and the first stage is expected to start its first of two planned burns in order to land on our drone ship. Interestingly, the Merlins on the first stage and second stage are quite similar. The Merlins on stage one are optimized for sea level, and these achieve about 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. The MVAC engine, which we're watching now, is optimized for 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. One of the other things we'll use to support landing of the first stage are the landing legs made of carbon, fi carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb placed symmetrically around the outside of the vehicle. Those are stowed at the base of the booster and then deployed just prior to landing. As we come up on the start of that entry burn, just a quick reminder that this will be a three engine burn meant to slow down the first stage as it hits the thicker layers of the Earth's atmosphere. And even though we are preparing for that stage one entry burn, we are still getting these great views from space of our second stage MVAC engine. We are expecting this burn of the MVAC to last another two minutes. Starting to get some views from the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen now, and you can continue watching the telemetry in the lower corner. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. There's the confirmation that we've started that first entry burn. Again, this is going to be the first of two before we hopefully stick the landing. Stage one entry burn shut down. There's confirmation that we've completed the stage one entry burn. Meanwhile, stage two continues on its trip to space. Both vehicles continue to follow anomalous trajectories. With confirmation of entry burn shutdown, we have one more burn before the first stage attempts to land on our drone ship, and that's landing burn. During the first stage landing burn, a single Merlin engine will relight and slow the vehicle down for its 14th landing attempt on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Expected loss of signal, Cape. Stage two is in terminal guidance. The next major milestone Stage we're tracking. One, transonic. The next major milestone we're tracking here is the call out that for second engine Stage cutoff two, one in just about ten seconds. You go one. Stage one landing burn. Nominal orbit insertion. There we've got the call out for second engine cutoff one and nominal orbit insertion on our second stage. Right now we are watching stage the- Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. There you just saw a successful 14th landing for this particular booster, which also marks our 195th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and heavy first stages.